All right. Somebody's doing some construction near me, so sorry if there is a drill going on in the background. But anyways, just wanted to talk really quickly today about building better connections. And a lot of people like to put their lack of good connections and good relationships in their life. I'm not even talking about romantic. I'm just talking about friendships and people when they're interacting. They like to put the reason that they have no good relationships and no connections. They put that responsibility on other people and I think they should hold themselves more accountable. I personally think I have great connections in my life and the few times that I felt that I was lacking connection, I figured out how to deal with it. So that's why I'm going to talk about it today. And I find that uh, because I also think, remember, you think, therefore you are. I think that I am able to create good connections, so I do. So let's start there. Um, but what I want to talk about. Today I'm going to be talking about the most simple way of creating better relationships in your life. And that is be the person you want to hang out with. Be who you were looking for. Ask the things that you want to talk about. That's it. It's really simple. And be present. Now, you have to be genuinely interested in being a part of that conversation. This is very, I'm not talking about how to get validated 101, okay? Because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about building connections. And I think this is where some people go wrong too because they just want to be validated and they say that there's a lack of connection. Um, it's not a lack of, well, there is a lack of connection because you never even offered something to connect with, right? How, are you, how is someone connect, gonna connect with you if you're not even opening anything to connect with? So first thing is to be someone someone can connect with. How you do that? Uh, you have to be open, okay? And this doesn't mean you have to be fully anything right away. Like I'm not fully, actually I'm pretty open, but in general, I'm still conscious of who I'm talking to and how they are reacting. You need to look at their body language, the way they're responding. And you need to observe your body language and the way you're responding. So if I'm coming up to someone new, me, Michelle, hi, how are you? What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Let's start here. Some people claim they hate small talk. Well, you know what? Back it up. Before I even get into that, you need to be who you are wanting to hang out with, right? So you can't say, I hate small talk, I hate small talk, I hate small talk, and then never offer anything deeper to talk about. Why would this person, person B, come up to you, person A, and just randomly start talking about something different? Have you ever been, oh my God, I'm sure so many people can relate to this, but if you're like at a bar or a party or something and someone comes up and asks you something, so totally off the wall, and there's a difference, we'll get into the two versions of this, something to totally off the wall without building any rapport, and then you're just like, what? 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 And it's so out there. And then you're like, no, I don't want to talk to you. I'm like, well, that was your way of getting something deeper than small talk. Also, anyone with social skills knows you have to have a little bit of small talk to actually get to those conversations. And I would say also, you can hate small talk, but what are you doing about it? Are you asking these questions? So you don't have to go into what is the meaning of life? The, me, the first time you meet someone, but at the same time, you can ask something if you don't want to say, hey, what's your name, where are you from? Talk about something that's going on. Like if I'm at a dance festival, I might start talking about, I don't know, dancing. Are you going to other festivals? Uh, how long have you been dancing for? You might call this small talk. Okay, but how am I even supposed to judge where I'm supposed to start something deeper with this person? Also, I don't want to have a deeper conversation with everyone. So maybe if you can't have small talk, I don't even want to have deep conversations with you. And I love deep conversations, but I know how to assess the situation first and then go into a deeper conversation. So if you are looking for deeper conversations, either straight up offer it, in a way that's not off the wall. You can't start at what's the meaning of life. What's something halfway? Something halfway 
you i don't even to be honest i don't even understand what is considered small talk and what isn't anymore because i have to get some kind of information to be able to start the next part of the conversation so if i was trying to talk about something different than other other than what is your name where are you from maybe i would say something like uh who's your favorite dj what's your favorite um because i can go i can go from there i can get better conversation start so who's your favorite dj oh i like so and so oh me too yeah i really loved when they played at this place it was really nice or uh why do you like that dj this is a whole deep conversation that has potential if you decide that you're going to actively be interested in that person why should that person just be interested in me i'm a pretty interesting person not everybody should just magically be interested in me i mean i guess but you have to offer something offer something so you can get it back if you want to have more meaningful relationships if you want to have better friends go be a better friend okay uh if you want to connect with people on a more spiritual level go connect on a more spiritual level start talking about those things bringing those topics up but you have to be what you're looking for you can't put all the responsibility onto everyone else otherwise you need to wear a shirt that says hey come have a deep conversation with me and i promise you, you don't want to have a deep conversation with everybody i don't even like i love talking i love having conversations with people but not everybody's getting past a certain level of my boundaries of how much energy i'm giving them because not everyone's reciprocating the same way so if you can't even reciprocate small talk why would i give you full michelle energy right not just hey it's me here what's up guys energy if you're looking for more authentic people to be around you you need to be more authentic you have to be the person you're looking for the reason you're doing this is because the people who are not attracted the people who aren't your people will filter themselves out when i was looking for deeper um i had a phase where i was like yeah i'd rather have better conversations than this like superficial stuff that's fine i still have to get through that and also i don't need to be mean because me saying hey to people isn't that hard me uh doing basic things isn't that hard but for example say if i want to have i want to have a lot more mindful friends you want to know a way to filter out people who aren't into mindful stuff talk about mindful stuff talk about meditation talk about law of attraction people who aren't into it will filter themselves out you don't even have to do anything so you just need to be in the existence in the state of the people you're trying to attract and the people you are trying to attract will come to you you just have to stick to it too you can't be like oh one day talking about spirituality and then no one wanted to talk to me well maybe that day you didn't interact with anyone who was your people okay i don't know how many people you're looking for but you can also put yourself in a better situation if you're looking to talk about um certain types of spirituality well maybe don't go to the atheist meeting if you're looking to talk about i don't know it would be like if you're looking to talk about kizomba and you went to a karate convention like i want to talk to you about this african dance at a karate convention it doesn't make sense context context but it doesn't mean that nobody at the karate convention dances kizomba i bet somebody somebody does you just can't expect that everyone does it but you can put yourself into the existence you need to be who you're trying to attract all i'm trying to say you need to be who you're trying to attract and you will attract the connections you want you want more authentic people be more authentic to be honest if you want more funny people laugh more people will make more jokes if you start laughing more i promise if you want more people who read one you need to read more so you have something to talk about and then talk about books it's not hard i love podcasts i love people who want to talk about podcasts i will start talking about podcasts in the middle of a conversation you don't even need to have a full talk about it you can assess people use your use your voices and have conversations and be into the other person you're talking to if you were seeking validation or just someone to listen to you you're not going to necessarily get the connection you're looking for because you're not actually trying to connect you're just trying to talk when i'm talking to people i want to hear what they're saying if 
I'm actually talking to them, right? If I'm talking to them, hey, I listen, I'm present. And then that gets them to want to be present with me. If they don't want to be present with me, mm, then they won't. It's just like everything else. If they don't want to be present in that conversation, they won't. I just need to read the signals and be like, okay, cool. Withdrawn energy onto the next situation. You can't put, I'm existing in what I want. I want to be around people who are going to fill my energy cup. I want to be around people who want to talk to me. So I need to want to talk to them. I want to be around people who are fully present in conversations. I need to be fully present in the conversation. They will show me if they're fully pre present in the conversation. If they're not doing it that one time, that's fine. But that's not who I'm looking for in that moment then. You just have to use your sense to discern stuff. But above everything, be present. Be who you were looking for and don't seek validation within the conversation. You can seek validation in the way that you want to hang out with them again. Like, hey, do you want to keep hanging out? This is great. I love talking to you. Then do that. It's not weird. Stop thinking everything's weird. Anyways, that's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment as to what do you want to attract? Who are you trying to attract? What kind of people are you trying to attract in your life right now? Me personally, I'm trying to attract currently other people who are also on the movement of growing their businesses because that's what I'm doing and it gives me inspiration. Also people who are just in the growth stage because I'm in a growth stage. So what do I talk about? Growth. Have a good day. Bye.